Okay, so I have a personal story that is relevant to this that we'll start with. So a friend of a friend told me about this. So the the once Main removed character. friend, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is expecting. She's due soon. She and her husband have decided that they don't want to post their baby on social media and they actually I don't think they've really posted much about the pregnancy either but like it makes sense in today's age but yeah. they've been getting pushback from family members which is very interesting I guess it makes sense you'll always get pushback about whatever choices you make for your children you know yeah, what I mean that's a like, whole other yeah thing. it is but it's also like feels kind of unavoidable but yeah. yeah there's just like a lot of family members that like don't understand why they're doing this and they're like well I could still post like this right and the couple is like well no we're we're trying to avoid like any posts at all it's just very interesting I feel like there's so many stories about family members that are so like set on posting Mm -hmm. their grandkids or nieces and nephews or whoever the relationship is I also think it comes with like age I guess Mm -hmm. because maybe older people don't understand that it can be dangerous to share pictures of children But I think people are so obsessed with social media. It's getting to the point where it's a problem. I guess it's not getting to a point. It is a problem. Mm -hmm. But it's like, why do you care that much to share pictures on Facebook of your grandkid or nephew or whatever? Right. It's so bizarre. Like, what is the reasoning? Like, you just want all these random people to see. I know. I I mean, it's like a known thing that like older generations seem to like love Facebook. Yeah. The most of all those social medias. And I feel like it's like (laughs) if you're our age and you use Facebook, it's kind of funny. Yeah, I still do. But I, I guess like in their mind they're just keeping up with all of their like old friends that they you know reunited with at their 20 year high school reunion or like great uncle George who lives out in Montana or yeah. something so I feel like in their minds they're just trying to like keep updated with people and like keep in touch but yeah you have to understand that people are using social media for evil for sure yes and, like it no matter how safe or private or whatever your account may be like it still poses a threat to people I feel like it has to do with stubbornness and then also like just the fact that they don't even know and they don't realize that it can be negative and I almost feel like it's like old people and kids are on the same wavelength yeah like you have to teach children about internet safety and you have to teach old people about internet safety and none of them believe you yes (laughs) because it's like oh like you can tell me these horror stories but that won't happen to me because I'm I'm careful that is such the <sighs> I feel like that's a thing that everyone has this like complex and Mm -hmm. it's so dangerous but that is so true the like well it's not gonna happen to me Mm -hmm. like that happens to other people's kids it's not gonna happen to mine or that happens to that family like I'm not gonna do that though and it's like no it doesn't happen to you until it does yes oh that is always a freak thing it's never expected and it's never like you can prevent it because like it will happen in the matter in the matter of seconds like whatever it is yeah yeah (laughs) <laughs> jinx <laughs> it just annoys me so much hearing stories like that because it's like people can't be respected for one decision they make mm-hmm. like you would think that if a parent was like we want to do the absolute most to protect our child's safety privacy whatever to set them up so that they can make every decision about their name and likeness in the future mm-hmm. And we're not going to post any of it. Wouldn't you think that people would be like, oh, that's a that's a cool decision to make. Good for you. Yeah. No, they're going to fight you on it. Yeah, apparently. No, we want to post your infant child on the Internet for all of our random friends to see. Like, yeah, you can't even respect a parent that's trying to keep their kids privacy and safety at the forefront. Like, that's what you're fighting against. Right. They literally don't get it. Also, like, (sighs) Not to be rude, but you're not special. (laughs) Like, I just feel like the internet is so oversaturated with, like, baby pictures and first this and first that and, like, weddings. and (laughs) Like, we get it. I I sound like (laughs) such a negative Nancy, and I'm sorry, but also, like, it's not the end of the world if you don't put up a post. 
everyone's lives will go on, including your own. Yes. And you can text pictures or write letters and send mail. Or, I don't know. Like, there's, I think there's just almost more meaningful ways to keep in touch with people. Yeah. Like, I get that social media is easy. Yeah. And it's like, oh, you just put this up. Now everyone knows and you don't have to explain right, it to, like, true. different groups or whatever. But, no, that's so true. <laughs> like, this is just also my personal opinion. And I t- I'm going to, no, I can't say I'm going to do it. But I was going to say I'm going to do it when I have kids kids but I don't think I'm going to I'll use a wedding as an example Mm -hmm. I love I'm a wedding photographer I value wedding photos I think they're so beautiful I predict that if and when I get married I will be posting my wedding photos like Mm -hmm. every single day for a year I'll use that as an example so I get why people do it like I get why you want to share these photos because they're so like beautiful and they mean so much to you but that is so true like in the nicest way possible you aren't that special so if you're wondering like oh my god should I post this or should I not it's like nobody cares yeah nobody is thinking about it except you and I was actually thinking about that today because I just reposted an Instagram story that it was a selfie that my friend took And then I just reposted her story when she tagged me in it. And in my mind, I'm like, ooh, should I repost this and then post this other selfie along with the photo that I took of the glass on the table and like put it like this or this layout, this layout. And I'm like, what am I doing? Right. This literally (laughs) could not matter less. Like a selfie going on my Instagram story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People don't even look at it. Nobody even cares. Mm -hmm. And like the baby photos, like I love certain babies. Like there are babies that I adore. But like, do I need to see 17 photos of them every single day? No, nobody cares as much as you do. So like if you're posting them or you're not posting them, unless you're literally Taylor Swift or like Kylie Jenner, nobody fucking cares. Mm -hmm. Like you're not special. Like I am not special. No one's going to care about my wedding photos. No, in like the nicest way possible. Like I'm Mm -hmm. not saying nobody cares about me. You're like, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, I don't need to share every single thing I've ever done in my life because like I'm not that interesting and neither are you. Yeah. Just the general you. No. In the nicest way possible though. (laughs) Like I'm really not trying to be negative. But right. like it is true that literally nobody cares as much as you do and nobody thinks about it as much as you do. Mm-hmm. Like I sorry, I'm literally just going on a rant. I'm just <laughs> and I'm not trying right to say off the that bat. Yeah, like I'm not trying to say that I don't care. I go on Instagram, you know, most days just like everybody else. Mm-hmm. And there are people whose stories I watch and they are very entertaining or like whatever they're doing that day, like I am gaining some sort of like entertainment out of it mm-hmm. in a way. So I don't even know like exactly what I'm describing. But there are also times where I will like click through stories and like I could not care less about like every single like piece of food this person ate this day. Like, I don't know. It just I guess it depends on the person and the content that they're posting. But it's never like if someone's posting their kids, like that's usually a like click off for me because like I love your kid and I I want the best for them in life. Mm -hmm. But like I just don't really care about like their soccer game. that day. Like, is that bad? I don't know. No, I feel like I had that realization like maybe in college where we would like go out and do things and take all these pictures and if you didn't post within that week like you were it was too late yeah and it was weird to post later and you had to like think of a caption that maybe would explain why you're posting late oh my god yes there was just so much pressure around it and then because like I was like I like social media for the aspect that it's almost like a scrapbook and it keeps all your pictures in one place and it's like kind of a um like record of your life in some like I I appreciate that and I I recognize that it, that's really nice for a lot of people but also it was kind of freeing when I realized like I don't have to post every major event in my life yeah like I I just don't and I can keep the pictures to myself and I can look at them whenever I want and like it just doesn't matter and if I do want to post them eventually I can post them like whenever I want yeah and like you're just not that special that people are like waiting for your pictures to come up that every day. Such, that I think like no one cares yes. that much. And I think it was, it that's was very what freeing. I'm thinking of. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because nobody else is sitting around like, yeah, it's not that I don't care when people post because I follow so many people that I find interesting, like Mm -hmm. my girlfriends who are surfing that day and like I'm eating that content up. Like my these girls that I follow that snowboard every day in California, like I love this content. And then my friends that are out of the bar, like what are they wearing? Like it is interesting. and I do like to consume it. But that I think is what it is. Mm -hmm. I'm not sitting around being like, when is like this girl going to post her next? story Mm -hmm. and like if she doesn't post a story that day am I sitting around being like wait but I wonder what she's doing I wonder what her kid is doing today right no like sure it's cute if you post it but like nobody's sitting around waiting for it so if you feel this pressure of like oh my god I have to post her it didn't happen like 
I promise you don't. And I, yeah. I also agree with it. Like in college, I even a few years after college, I guess it was probably up until like, I don't know, a few just, just a few years ago, like relatively recently. I also felt that too. Like I was like, you have to post everything. And like, if you don't post, it didn't happen. Like that, yeah. like that jokey phrase, like picture didn't happen. And yeah. it's like people actually live by that. And I used to too. And now like I still feel like remnants of like that idea, oh, same. like creeping mm-hmm. in on me every yeah. once in a while. But I also, one time I went on vacation with my family and I didn't take any photos and I didn't post one thing about it. And I was like, that's like kind of crazy. Like that is so rare for yeah. for me, at least. I know some people don't give a shit about social media ever, but like mm-hmm. for me, it would be so rare to travel and not post about it. And then I did that and I was like, dude, that is actually kind of crazy that I went on a full <laughs> vacation and nobody knows. Like, but like I'm also so cool. who cares? Yeah. Like, also nobody cares. Like, I don't know. I, I feel bad saying nobody cares but I guess it is just like if if anyone were to ask me like please don't post my child I'm not gonna be like see but I guess I I can see where someone would be coming from because we're saying like yeah nobody's sitting around like waiting for you to post Mm -hmm. there are times when people do sit around waiting yeah if you know that someone you love is having a baby like yeah you're sitting around waiting and like Mm -hmm. there have been times when a celebrity or celebrity adjacent person is having a baby and I'm like really curious about the name like Mm -hmm. I I I feel like a lot of people really love hearing new names and like oh what did they name the kid like I love learning when somebody names their baby so I definitely have had times where I've been like waiting for someone to post because I want to see the name so I get that and I get that like if you you know that your friend's maybe niece is having a baby and your friend's been taught I'm thinking like old ladies out at like brunch or whatever and they're like I know like yeah. this woman's like niece is having a baby like I can't wait to see like I get it there are <laughs> the people boys that- <laughs> right yeah that's what they all sound like too yeah it's crazy <laughs> I get it that people do wait sometimes but if you're really waiting like I don't know there's a way to share it without sharing photos of an infant yeah just yeah, post on your story and be like mm-hmm. my niece whoever had her baby it's a healthy baby thank you so much for caring or like mm-hmm. sending your well wishes my one friend posted i think like the baby's hand in Cute. some way like holding a finger yeah. or something like and announce like the birth which Cute. was nice and like uh, it was a nice update that i'm sure people were waiting for i was you know obviously waiting for it but it also wasn't putting the baby's face out there and like yeah just a lot of like personal information i I get why people care and like I feel like I am coming off as negative being like no matter what you post on social media like yeah, nobody same. cares like we're like we hate you yeah, literally <laughs> if you've ever been married or had a yeah. kid I unfollowed we you literally <laughs> hate you but I don't know like I it's more just coming from a place of like you don't need to feel this pressure to post and share mm-hmm. because nobody cares about it as much as you do yeah. and while people may appreciate it and it sparks their interest for a few seconds while they scroll it's not make or breaking anything Mm -hmm. and if it's make or breaking you to post and you're not like a celebrity who has to make a statement like that's probably not a good thing right yeah I guess that's what it is it's like it's okay to care a little bit everyone cares a little bit but if you're like starting family drama because someone that you love is having a baby and they say we're not gonna post photos or their name on social media and you're starting a fight like you're like rioting because you can't (laughs) you can't share their baby baby's Mm -hmm. picture like maybe let's take a step back like maybe let's reassess Mm -hmm. why do we care so much about social media and why do we care so much about sharing this baby's face with thousands or millions of strangers right i feel like that's the like issue Mm -hmm. yeah okay i'm so sorry if it seems like i don't care about you i do feel like i was being negative i don't know no no we love you (laughs) we love you all (laughs) please show me your baby keep posting whatever you want but also Yes, yes Yeah. Also, if there's someone in your life that you respect and love and they request that you do not share a certain photo, you should probably just respect them. There's still a way to update your family and your friends and keep people in a loop without sharing literal photographs of another human. Yeah. Yeah. I literally feel like I just like gave someone a lecture. No, I was just like screaming. Like, <laughs> You're not nobody special. fucking cares about you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, God damn. Oh my God.
<laughs> can you take a deep breath? I'm like telling people to take a step back and like relax. And I'm like, all this advice is for myself. No, same. <laughs> I was going to say, relax. I still have, like we said, it's we still have those like intrusive thoughts where it's yes. like, I need to post this or else people won't know that I did it and they'll think I missed out on it and then I'm not cool <laughs> because I wasn't a part of it. Yeah. But other people were a part of it. It's like, I need to prove that I was also there. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> no, you really don't. No, you really don't. And no one cares. And yeah, I feel like, I, like on the daily, I'm like, chill. Yeah. I just have to tell myself, like, it's not that deep. I Yes, it's literally yeah. not that deep. Mm-hmm. It's n- There are so many of the stories that I pulled today that reminded me of, like, just things that happened in my own life. Maybe I'll start with one of them because mm-hmm. it's like, literally, it's not that deep. Mm-hmm. It's fine. We're all fine. But no, I feel you too because literally today, like I was saying earlier, when I go out to, like, a bar or something and it's like, I wear the cute outfit and I take the cute picture I'm like oh I want to share this and there's nothing wrong with wanting to share it but I feel like it's maybe a good time to do self-reflection when you feel that you have to post it or like something is like going wrong because like maybe your followers find it interesting when you post about the restaurant or the bar that you went to and they're like oh cool like Kelly went to that bar like cool whatever but nobody is sitting around thinking about me being like I wonder what Kelly's doing tonight is she at a bar like no people just don't think like that unless you like have a crush on someone Mm -hmm. or like of course there's like those few people that you like you know how sometimes you just like make people into a celebrity in your mind Mm -hmm. or like in your friend group you're like oh this person like and it's fun yeah and like they post a story like I eat it up yeah watch them first (laughs) I know yeah no I do that too and like there's influencers or like photographers that I love and like if they're posting on their story I'm every single time I want to watch it because it's entertaining Mm -hmm. but it's not like I log on for like normal people that I don't have like emotional attachment to Mm -hmm. and it's just like a friend or an acquaintance or whatever that I follow I'm like nobody's like waiting for you to post in the nicest way possible yeah so like it's okay to not care about it and it's okay to not go on Instagram like sometimes I just don't go on Instagram at all and it's such a good feeling like to go like a day or whatever without going on it and like actually hold yourself to it and I feel like the longer I go off of it the less I care about it and also in general Instagram is becoming like I just think it's very boring and like uninteresting I agree I don't know why and you know what actually what I've done recently that I think is very admirable of myself I must say I've muted almost every person that I follow on their stories that's so good yeah I had been thinking that I had to do this a while ago because I waste a lot of time scrolling through stories that either give me anxiety make me mad or I don't care about them so I'm like why am I watching these And so many people do that. Yes. It's so ingrained in us. Yeah. But I saw a TikTok from Strawberry Milk Mob. Have you ever seen her? No, what is that? I don't know. She's just like some girl on TikTok. Oh, okay. I just love her name, so I I had to say (laughs) it. But she said that she just doesn't watch stories and she saves like hours of her Mm -hmm. time just like by not watching stories. And I was like, okay, that's my sign to actually like finally do it and just mute everyone. So it's not like I went through my follower who I'm following and just like muted everyone, but it's like kind of as their stories pop pop up I will click on them and like mute them Mm -hmm. and I'm just like I'm very happy with myself I mean my boyfriend like deleted all social media and I'm like wow like that's so did he delete the apps or his actual account just the apps okay yeah but I mean he it's the same probably never ever re-download them unless like he needs to but I was like that's like really good I don't think I could do that though so I feel like this is a good start and it's like yeah it's like getting rid of the importance in my head that this has been like holding on to yeah yeah. So I feel a little bit like free not being, you know, glued to my phone and stuff. Yeah. I mean, TikTok's another story. Like yeah, I will spend <laughs> hours on TikTok. Yeah. We all have our vices but, though. <laughs> and there are some people on Instagram who like I'll, I don't mute them because like either they're like a loved one or like a close friend and like I I want to stay up to date or I'm like I just crack myself up I'm like I can't mute this person because they just had a baby (laughs) and I need I need to literally (laughs) everything we just said was a I'm a fraud (laughs) and I'm like I need to keep up with the baby no (laughs) <laughs> literally everything we just said but if they go overboard i will mute you yeah you know okay i just really like babies and no, that is people that's a good example of those like random instances where you do actually wait for people but it's like yes. everyone you've ever met in your life that you follow on facebook or yeah. friends with on facebook whatever those are not the people you're waiting for it's right. like a random one-off here and there yeah. thing and some people they'll post like really cool restaurants that they go to and they'll tag them and I do find that I get 
I, I like benefit from watching their stories but a lot of them I'm like whatever I'm still gonna mute you because like I'll I already have a long list of restaurants that I need to visit in the area I'm like I don't need more yeah but I there is like a benefit to some people that I follow where I'm like I I do enjoy your content but I'm like no I just have to mute everyone because it's just such a time waster yeah other people like if they post like creative content I feel like I do benefit from that too yeah. like, I enjoy seeing that so some people made the cut didn't get the the, yeah. the snip. <laughs> That's why I feel like it's hard because like social media overall, people are so quick to be like, oh, it's bad. It's bad. Right. Because I think it, it can be so bad to have addictions to it or like have these emotional ties to it. But it can be good. Like mm-hmm. entertainment is an important part of life, whether you yeah. like to admit it or not. Like so much of our lives revolve around entertainment. So like it's OK to use Instagram and TikTok to get entertainment. But I feel like the problem comes when you start like thinking about it when you're you're not mm-hmm. consuming it and like basing your life around and th- I'm talking like normal people like of course an influencer or, like if your job is Instagram like I'm not talking about you but yeah. like normal people who have normal jobs who don't need like if they never went on Instagram again their life would be the same you know yeah those are the people I'm talking about and it's like I feel that with myself I'm like mm-hmm. I just feel the like negative parts of it and I feel like with the watching of the stories I have started muting certain people that it's weird because it'll be like if I have an emotional like attachment to them like there's been guys or something like let's say I met like a guy at a bar or something Mm -hmm. and I was like oh they're cute whatever and then when I see their Instagram pop up I'm like yeah I can't I can't spend time thinking about this random person Mm -hmm. so I either like unfollow them or mute them but I guess what I'm getting at is like sometimes I feel like watching someone's story so much creates this like false sense of connection to them yep and it happens a lot with celebrities and you have this like parasocial relationship with them where you subconsciously start to think that you're friends with them or that you Mm -hmm. know them and then you become emotionally attached to them whether you want to or not it's just like subconscious almost and then you do feel the need to like go back and and I'm using you as like the general statement because this is I feel like things that have happened to me Mm -hmm. like there have been I feel like I don't follow that many influencers actually but there have been a few like content creators that I just find like really talented and interesting interesting right so those people I do like consume all of their content and I'm like oh my god this girl like well but it's like we don't know each other and like why am I becoming emotionally tied to consuming her content like it's not always negative but it could be like Mm -hmm. it could quickly turn into like I just think it could turn negative to have an emotional attachment to like watching other people's lives and let's say it is like people you went to high school with or college and you just watch their story every single day there's nothing wrong with it but like at the same time like if it's affecting your mental health like yes there's nothing wrong with it if you watch somebody's story and you move on and you mm-hmm. never think about them until their name pops up again like mm-hmm. that's fine I have lots of people like that that I'm like oh interesting person like I hope they're doing well I just think that when you constantly watch somebody's story you can almost like trick yourself into thinking that this person matters in the grand scheme of your own life yeah and I've definitely had instances where I post a story because I want like a specific person or a specific group of people or something to see it Mm -hmm. and I feel like that is what made my like made me realize that I have to stop doing that or like that's when you have to hide that person from your story so they can't Mm -hmm. see it or something like that because it's like when you're posting for other people and you like really care about like who's watching your story and like and this like comes and goes in my life still like I definitely fall into this trap but I just feel like if you're creating emotional attachments to people and it revolves around someone's Instagram story, like that's just probably not the healthiest mindset to be in. And I feel yeah. like that's a good time to like hit mute. Yeah, and be exactly. Done. Yeah, I know. So I've I've muted. I follow like 800 something people. I think I've muted all but 20. Of wow. Them. Yeah. Did you mute me? No. <sighs> No, you Let's made go. the cut. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> but it was kind of hard for some people that I like once was close to and am no longer close to. Like I don't really keep in touch with them or like I I still feel like I have some emotional attachment to them, but we don't really talk. It's like, yeah. what what am I getting out of their stories? Like if we wanted to catch up, I would honestly rather just have a conversation with them instead mm-hmm. of like keeping up through their stories. And I have had instances where people will be, I'll be like, oh, how are you doing? And they're like, oh, like I did this, 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 like, and 
it almost seemed like they were surprised I didn't know, but it's because I think I missed one of their stories. And it's like, yeah. that just feels so strange to me. And I'd, I just would rather have the conversation where we like catch up and reunite yeah. that way than like kind of like falsely keep in touch just by posting public stories. Right. Like kind of back and forth. I don't know. So that is a weird dynamic. Yeah. But it was hard. But yeah, I did. I did mute a lot of people. And I'm just hoping that if I ever, you know, reach out to them again or like run into them, like I could just, you know, talk in person with Mm -hmm. them and like catch up that way. So I also think that what we were talking about earlier, like a while ago at this point, (laughs) but when you said the thing about when you watch these people's stories, it brings you like anxiety or anger Mm -hmm. or just another negative emotion. Regardless of what it is. I feel left out. Yeah. Which is weird because I would never be invited you know yeah you know it just it evokes weird emotions in me sometimes and I'm like okay they've got to go yes yeah I remember right after college I was with the girl that I started working for I was just like venting to her about all these people that I follow and how it's so annoying that they like always post and I just get angry and like annoyed just like people that weren't nice to me Mm mm-hmm And I would be like watching their stories or following them, whatever. And she's like, why do you follow them then? And I was like, oh, my God, (laughs) I don't know. Hmm. I was like, I actually don't know. And then I unfollowed everyone that made me feel that way. And I was such a happier person Mm -hmm. since then. Any time that's a thing, I either unfollow them or mute them. And I almost feel like it's sad that unfollowing someone almost is like rude yeah i agree because it's like you don't bring me joy right like why is it why will it come off as rude if i unfollow you and to be completely honest i wouldn't give a shit if you followed me or not we're not friends yeah so why do we have to follow each other just to maintain this like oh well i'll just keep following them to be nice yeah why nice it's not nice or mean to follow someone or not follow someone like it's instagram it doesn't make you nice or mean but that's why i've muted people yeah because of that like if anyone were to ever find out that I unfollowed them you'd like feel bad yeah yeah exactly you're like I'm sorry like I just am like overwhelmed by Instagram and I don't need to follow every single person I've ever met yes yeah I unfollow people a lot and I kind of feel bad about it sometimes but then like in life we are so connected to so many people and that's like not natural like the amount of people that we are connected to because of social media this is like the first time in in the history of the world that's happening and it just affects us so much Mm -hmm. like you don't have time or energy in life to like be able to connect with this many people Mm -hmm. so like it's okay to take a step back and not have that connection like I don't know it's right I just think about that sometimes with like my parents friends and people they went to high school with it's like they will never see those people or most of them like they'll probably never see most of those people again and like that's fine yeah because they weren't friends (laughs) I'm getting so off topic here but like I just think overall it doesn't show kindness or meanness to be friends with someone on Facebook or not. Yeah. Or to follow someone on Instagram or not. Like, if someone unfollows you, like, yeah, sure, they could have bad intentions. They could be, like, wanting to get to you. But, like, also, maybe they just are cleaning out their Instagram and Mm -hmm. they don't need to be reminded of everyone they've ever met in their life that they were friends with for one year in college and then never spoke to again. Right. Would it make me a bad person to unfollow somebody that I had a class with in college and I never will talk to in person again like no I don't know I just think that like following someone or not following someone that like doesn't get you an award right like it doesn't make you like better or worse to follow people or not yeah normalize cleaning out your social media yeah and normalize being cleaned out (laughs) yes so true so true don't get offended when people don't follow you yeah or unfollow you the whole like follower to following ratio is just so messed up yeah the whole like culture around that I agree. Okay, now that we've completely strayed from family drama, should we return? Maybe. (laughs) (laughs) Or I just, like, keep repeating myself. And, like, I feel like sometimes I just, like, when we talk about, like, overarching topics like this, I say, like, the same idea in different ways. But I feel like that is just how people talk, though. Because at the same time, it's, like, there's so many little examples that lead to the same, like, point. 
point. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I feel bad. Well, like, and if I- like sometimes I don't understand what someone's saying until they say it in a different way. Yes. Five different times. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll like, then yeah. I get it. And so. then also it's for myself. Like, yeah. The point of like making these like little points and repeating the exact same thing is because I'm like, oh yeah, I am right. valid in how I'm feeling because every single situation yes. like leads to the same outcome. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Although I know everything is nuanced and... <laughs> I I actually spiral and I feel like I'm I was going to say I'm watching you spiral I'm right now spiraling <laughs> because I feel like I've learned a lot from the podcast and like talking to people in the comments because people are so set in their ways including myself and then I'm like oh this is just true and then people will comment and be like oh well I live a happy life and I'm the opposite and I'm like wow <laughs> crazy and I'm like, like why did I walk around knew. yeah like right. why do I walk around being like this is true I'm like no it's true for me it's true for me my friend and my like cousin but like yeah. it's not true for everyone on earth yeah. and I feel like that's just really important to understand and I am trying to keep that in mind and that's why I feel bad when we go off and we're like none of it matters mm-hmm. and I'm like well mm. it does yeah. sometimes but yeah okay. but I'm gonna try to stop spiraling right now <laughs>